This will be a speed test between the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra versus the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Now the Note 20 Ultra, this one has the Snapdragon 865 Plus processor, a massive 12 gigs of RAM on Android 10, and on its latest version of One UI 2.5. Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus has the Snapdragon 855, has eight gigs of RAM in this beautiful ceramic white colorway. This one is on Android 10, and its latest version of One UI 2.1. So let's go ahead and turn on both phones at the same time. See which one has the faster boot up and let's go. Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G versus Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus speed test. What will happen right now? Which phone will have the faster boot up? Let's find out. Find out right now. Oh, looks like the uh, Note 10 or the Note 20 Ultra. Note 10, haha. -ha. Note 20 Ultra out in front here. Whoops. So you guys are the judges, but I think I'm gonna give the win to the Note 20 Ultra. And we are in. All right, man, let's get right into it. I'm gonna swipe over. These are the apps I'm gonna be using for this speed test. I'm gonna go like this on both phones. So you can see no recently used apps on both. All apps, caches, the browsers have been cleared. And on a side note, if you're noticing this on the uh, S10 Plus, that's because this has a broken screen protector. So that's what that is. So let's get started by tapping the phone app. No 20 messages. Ty, the camera. I'm gonna pick up both phones so you can see the viewfinder and let's go. A little bit faster on the left. And I'm gonna to go to video on both. So you can see, and I'm gonna see if it'll keep it on video the second time around. Let's go ahead and start up the, uh, what do we got next? The clock on both phones. I'm gonna go ahead and run that. Leave that running in the background. And we do have the calculator. Draw again, pretty much. Play store. Identical performance, maybe a tad quicker on the uh, Note 20, but not by much. Okay, neck and neck, not that big of a difference. So you can see this one. Okay, a little bit faster on the left, but not by much again. Negligible differences, really. We'll fire up this game now. Super Mario Run, loading on both phones. A little bit faster on the uh, on the Note. So you can see very similar performance, essentially the same. Note, a tiny bit faster, but not a big difference. And then this one we have loading on both. Oh, looks like we have a draw here. But let's, I'm gonna let this run. And pretty much the same thing, a little bit faster on the left, but not by much. And then this one. Loading on both phones. Tiny bit faster on the Note 20 Ultra, but again, not a huge difference. We'll check out the Angry Birds. Starting up and logging in on both phones. Let's see what happens. Ooh, I think the Note 20 is ahead. Note 20 Ultra. And we'll give the win to the Ultra on this. And then we do have the Asphalt 9. 20 years, that's nice. Oh, faster on the left. We'll tap play once. And of course we do have the PUBG Mobile. I think the Note 20 Ultra is ahead, but let's find out. Hearing noise from the Note first. And I think the note's faster. Yeah, I'm gonna give the win to the note. Came up a little bit quicker. Get rid of this extra stuff. So you can see. Twitter. Pretty much the same. Faster on the left. IG. The same. Faster on the left, very slightly. WhatsApp. Very fast on both. Snapchat. 
it's very fast on both. Note 20 might be a little bit faster. And finally, we do have Samsung internet on both phones. Let's do a real quick browsing test. You know, I'm just gonna go to GSM Arena. GSM, let's see. First one, and then we'll click on this one. Hmm, the ad came up first on the S10 Plus. Now again, this might be dependent on the uh, Wi-Fi too. So, you know, you can take this with a grain of salt if you want. This page, Note 20 was a little bit faster. And then we'll click on this one on both. And we're looking at some specs on this device. Looks pretty cool with that red color. Pinch to zoom, not bad. However, on the uh, Note 20 with a fast 120 Hertz display, that is just buttery smooth. Not even close, yeah. The scrolling also nice and smooth on the uh, Note 20 Ultra. And combined with its 6.9 inch display on the Note, web browsing is really, uh, really a very uh, nice experience here on the uh, Note. But it's not bad on the S10. I mean, this is pretty good also. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the RAM management on both phones. Everything's in the background so you can see. Now again, on a side note, the 120 Hertz on the uh, Note makes scrolling here side to side just a very smooth experience. I love it, man. I love it. Just gonna run through these again, see what happens. Nice and fast so far. Games, okay, not a problem. This one. Okay. I don't think that was a reload. Oh, a little bit of a stutter here on the um, on the S10. And again, another stutter on the S10, but it kept it in RAM though. Remember, 12 gigs of RAM on the Note 20 and eight gigs on the uh, S10 Plus. So you can see another little stutter on the right, but it kept it in RAM. Mario Run, no problems on both, eBay. Same place, Amazon, same place, Play Store. Again, right where we left it off, calculator, no issues. Clock, still running in the background. And then the camera, remember it was on video. So let's see what happens. Both still on video, so you can see. Messages. And finally, the phone app. Boom. So let me know in the comments below what you thought about this matchup. My fellow Samsung Knights, are you gonna stick with your Galaxy S10 or S10 Plus? Are you gonna upgrade to the S20, S20 Plus, S20 Ultra, or even the Note, such as this Note 20, Note 20 Ultra? Are you gonna consider even the Note 10 or Note 10 Plus from last year? Or are you a baller and have yourself the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra? This one's the latest and greatest Note from Samsung with its big 6.9 inch display at 120 Hertz. It's beautiful. Let me know what you thought about this test in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Peace out.